Hello, welcome, and thank you for tuning in. I'm Elizabeth DePompe with the National DAV Communications Team, and I'll be moderating today's webinar. In just a few moments, National Membership Director Doug Wells will give a presentation covering DAV's new and improved department and chapter websites that will help you better serve your members in our larger mission. When you have questions, please type them in the Q&A box as we go, and we'll answer as many as we can during the Q&A portion at the end. Doug and his team are always available, but we encourage everyone to take advantage of this opportunity to ask questions. After today, you'll be able to review a recording of this presentation at DAV.org under Member Resources, where you'll click the webinar block. The recording will also be available on DAV's YouTube page. Without further ado, I'll turn it over to Doug. Thank you, Elizabeth, and thank you everybody for uh, attending this evening. This is uh, such an important milestone for us here at DAV, we've been working on these new department and chapter websites for quite a while now. Um, <clears throat> and this was, uh, you know, a very important undertaking. Uh, we hadn't uh, had the opportunity to update our, our websites uh, in quite a while. Uh, as you know, we used to call them our member portals. Uh, that, technolo that technology was uh, quite, a, uh, quite a bit dated. And we've been looking for the right solution to uh, uh, bring our, our uh, websites into the uh, 21st century here, if you will. Um, so we're just so super pleased that we've been able to, to do this and, and uh, finally get it rolled out. Uh, not without some fits and starts, but certainly I think the, uh, the end product is well worth the wait. Um, so again, thank you for uh, joining us this evening. Um, this, uh, information that you see before you on the on the first slide here is my direct information if you have any questions or concerns about the websites or certainly uh, anything else that's in the membership wheelhouse uh, I am here for you like they say in the NFL the the best ability is availability so I really try to make myself available to all of my folks out there doing such great work on behalf of the DAV and those we serve. So uh, again, that is my direct information, dwells at dav.org. Uh, and that is the direct line to my desk. Uh, do not hesitate to reach out to me, as I said. I'm happy to either get you the answer myself or uh, get you with a warm handoff to somebody that uh, knows uh, whatever you're looking for better than I do. So um, for those of you that like to take screenshots and, and snap pictures of slides, happy to share this um, share this presentation and the slide deck with you. Just go ahead and email, email me and, and I'll, I'll be happy to send it out to you uh, so that you can um, you know, share this information at department or chapter events. Um, I would certainly encourage you to do that. Uh, you know, again, if you need assistance in defining something or becoming more familiar with something, uh, some aspect of the department and chapter websites, uh, if I can't provide that information to you, I'm going to get you to somebody uh, that can. So, uh, again, really appreciate that. I'll share the slide deck uh, or get you any other information you need to be successful. So, um, the the biggest thing I want to kind of, you know, level set expectations here is um, I didn't want to turn this into a technical briefing. Um, frankly, there are so many capabilities within our new department and chapter websites that we'd be here for, you know, two or three hours uh, going over everything. So what I really want to accomplish here is to get you oriented to our new department and chapter websites. Uh, you know, we've had them live here for about a week or so now. Um, and we've already had some feedback from uh, webmasters out there, really great feedback, which we certainly love. Um, but it's, it's let us kind of hone in on some of the, areas where uh, we needed to um, to pay closer attention to and refine so I, I want to share some of that stuff with you um, so you don't run into the same into the same uh, issues that uh, those other webmasters did but uh, just again really tickled that uh, we could do this and I really appreciate everybody um, uh, coming out tonight so what are the key benefits of our new uh, department and chapter websites <laughs> um, so first of all, we want to improve communications throughout the entire organization. So we have, and I'll talk about this a little bit more, but uh, the new websites offer the ability in a streamlined fashion to be able to push information out. So national to everybody, 
the departments to their respective chapters, and then of course anything that chapters uh, publish in their locality that are uh, that's important to their uh, to the members in their immediate area. So uh, just really kind of disseminating information. What I hope that you'll see is if we publish a memo, um, you know any of our departments here at national headquarters. So say a five k memo or a memo about Golden Corral events, things like that. Uh, you will see those memos pop up on your websites as well. Uh, we also have the capability to regionalize our uh, communication. So if, if national headquarters is aware of a specific event, uh, say in the tri-state area here in Northern Kentucky, uh, Southeastern Indiana and Southern Ohio, and it's really just a regional sort of effort, we can contain our communications to that specific area. So really a lot of agility is coming with this new technology. Um, you know, we've standardized website naming conventions across all of our department and chapter websites to make them easier to locate. Uh, we're able to eliminate uh, undesirable web content or, or web domain names. Um, we, you know, there's a provision of a web presence to the departments and chapters who lack the resources to create their own. I know there are some departments and even some chapters that have their web, their own websites and, and by all means, feel free to link them uh, to these uh, uh, department and chapter websites so that your members can have the benefit of both. My hope is that these new sites will be so robust that you will no longer need uh, a personal website. Uh, or, or a privatized website, and we can save those resources and, and put them somewhere else. But certainly, um, you know, not every uh, chapter and department is created equally with respect to uh, their finances. So uh, we're really happy, again, that we can uh, provide the, this platform for their utilization. Um, and, you know, this really is just going to enhance the level of our quality of service to all of those we serve uh, across the board. So, um, again, those are just some of the key benefits. I, I'm certain there are more, um, you know, but, uh, you know, don't be afraid to uh, stretch the capabilities of, of our new websites and, and be creative with them and, and really try to do, um, you know, things that we weren't able to do with the old membership portals. Uh, we're going to have more to come on this, um, of course, uh, at National Convention and uh, that presentation will be uh, recorded in the slide deck shared uh, when that happens as well. So uh, the absolute best thing that a webmaster can do is to become as familiar with the new sites as possible. So these sites, uh, you know, again, are going to continue to grow and be approved upon. So what you see before you today will likely look very different a year or two from now. Um, you know, especially on the back end with our webmasters. Again, we're going to really work hard to try to continually improve upon the capabilities of our new sites. So uh, first things first, how do you access the DAV website? So uh, there is that the main uh, page uh, URL there, davwebsites.dav.org. Uh, and that'll take you to the uh, members home section, which uh, presents you with a, uh, uh, a whole lot of options. Uh, there is a sign-in uh, section there at the right. So uh, at these at the main pages, you're going to see your ability to sign in uh, from whatever site that you launch. Um, and this gives you some additional um, some additional options here. But the, the primary thing that I want to point out is that for consistency of branding and information dissemination, wherever we could, we linked the wet, the sites to the uh, DAV.org parent site. Um, so in, in the bottom right hand corner, you notice you got the member resources tab there that takes you to the new DAV uh, member resources tool uh, at DAV.org proper so that you can just have a, a one stop shop place to access it. So again, this is the, the DAV home, uh, DAV members home page, uh, which is the main page. And then you can also access, if you uh, look at the, uh, uh, the, the gray bars there along the top of the image, um, you can go to the department and chapter websites, which provides a drop down list to search for a particular department or chapter. 
Um, you can go to, again, the parent site, uh, DAV.org. Um, you can go to mydav.org and, you know, probably people are tired of me pounding on this, but even if you are not uh, an elected or appointed officer, you should be registered for DAV.org. Uh, so please go to DAV.org and register. And this, uh, uh, this probably is going to be the easiest way to access your registration page other than saving it to your favorites or bookmarking the site or something like that. So uh, please ensure that everybody is registered, even if it's just as an individual member, so you can manage your payments, look at your service record, update your profile, all those sorts of things happen within mydav.org, which is the uh, replacement for the old legacy membership system that we discontinued a few years ago. Um, what's great about being registered up front is that uh, if you do become elected or appointed to an office uh, where you need enhanced access to the reports repository or to the officer election report, and look, it's a little teaser uh, to the annual financial report that we've been working feverishly on, uh, those permissions will open up to you automatically by virtue of submission of the new officer election report. So you won't have to, you know, um, play catch up and register uh, to have access to mydav.org at the end. So uh, back to the to the websites. Uh, the About Us uh, tab uh, directs you to DAV's mission statement and the About Us section of DAV.org. Um, help and support. I want all of my webmasters out there to really remember this section, and I'm going to talk more about it, but it, it directs you to the Getting Started page, other resources, uh, the contact us section and the frequently asked questions section, which is very, very important. Um, there's also the recruitment uh, resource uh, uh, tab that we we talked about a little bit ago to the recruitment resource tool at DAV.org. Um, and on the bottom right there at member resources, that takes you to the entire member resources section, the elected officer resources, uh, member leaders, all that good stuff. So, um, you know, again, be sure to, to poke around here, you could probably hear me say that multiple times. You're not going to break the site. Uh, poke around, experiment. Uh, you know, pay close attention to your resources and and utilize them. Uh, and if all else fails, give us a call here at membership. We'll get you to work. So, uh, if you attempt to access an old member portal site uh, as a webmaster or as a as a you know visitor. To the site, you're going to be greeted with the following message, you know, attention, hey, these are, um, you know, uh, sites are no longer available, you got to go to the new sites, and there's a link there that's provided uh, to direct you to our new sites. So be sure, again, to bookmark or, or favorite your uh, new site address, um, whether it's your particular chapter or department address or uh, the home site, uh, which is always good to kind of go through to make sure that there's not been any updates since you last time. So, um, so again, for webmasters, the most important place to initially become familiar uh, with sites is the help and support section. Okay, um, this help and support section is critically vital um, to uh, everything that you're going to be doing. So, uh, whether it's the web map, uh, the website application, um, you know, for uh, our leaders and, and uh, the things that they're doing uh, to, to complete the website application, uh, to, to choose the, the look and feel of your website, all that good stuff happens here. Um, so remember, after you submit uh, your chapter department application, um, the webmaster is going to be contacted via email within two to three business days with their username and password, as well as some additional setup instructions. Uh, again, nothing too intensive, but, you know, just enough to get you started. Um, you know, remember, uh, answers to the frequently asked questions are also going to be here. Something that I need to point out is that, you know, we're, we're going to be continually updating the user manual, but the facts section is going to be updated as soon as we realize this is something we need to point out to folks. Uh, because, again, there's just so many tools here. Um, the facts section is going to be getting updated faster than the, the user manual. There's a, a lot more that goes into the into updating the user manual, but we certainly will be uh, trying our best to stay on top of that and ensure we have an up-to-date document there. Um, 
but definitely you want to make sure that uh, you're continually referring. If you come across the question, uh, eyeball the, the fact section, and I'm sure it's going to really help you out. So, um, <clears throat> so the first thing I want to mention is membership uh, is going to provide your technical support. Um, and, you know, we're, in most cases, we're going to be able to resolve any issue you might have. If we can't, we'll kick it out to our IT folks um, and they will, you know, very quickly help us uh, get you resolved. But, pardon me, uh, you know, and, and I, this, the other thing that I want you to, to remember as we go along here is that permissions are important. So if you're just a visitor to the site, you're not going to see the user manual and, and some of these other options. Uh, but as a webmaster, you'll be seeing quite a few of these things, um, uh, you know, as we go forward here. And there are also different permission levels and resources available to departments that there aren't available to uh, chapters. So uh, the webmaster user, man user manual, like I said, we're going to be working really hard to ensure that it stays up to date. Uh, even though we're going to be making up the fly updates and answering uh, frequently asked questions in the fact section, probably a little more regularly. Uh, but go ahead and, and, you know, make sure you have that bad boy saved as a PDF uh, where you can uh, easily access it. It is going to be your best friend, especially as you start getting into uh, some of the more uh, complex and non-routine things that you're, you're doing here. Um, but we've really tried to think about our webmasters and our officers and what's going to be helpful to them as they move forward and engage with um, not only their local members, but the local community as a whole. So, um, you know, the, we have a self-service, a self-serve password management deal. So if you forget your your uh, password, this, uh, you know, uh, that link will get you to where you need to be to, to reset. Um, <clears throat> and it also provides uh, the ability to provide announcements. So if you're at the department level, you can push announcements out to all the chapters in your jurisdiction. Uh, but again, if you have questions or encounter technical difficulties, please be sure to reach out to membership at either membership at dm.org or at the 883, or pardon me, the 888-236-8313 number. And you know, we'll we'll do our best to get you up and running ASAP. We've got some great folks here on the team, and, and I promise you we will escalate your issue if we um, can't figure it out right away for you. Um, so again, remember, we're going to be continually uh, improving the sites. Um, you know, so your feedback is always appreciated. If you think there's a way uh, that we can make something better now, certainly don't hesitate to, to reach out to us with that suggestion. I'd love feedback from our members. So again, uh, you can locate your site by clicking on the department and chapter websites on the top menu bar. Uh, if you're looking for a department, you'll click on the drop down and select the department uh, you're looking for on the list. Uh, you know, you got, I guess, if you see the little search uh, button there, uh, and that'll take you over to where you need to be. Um, so in other words, if you wanna look at the Department of Ohio, you'll click on Ohio and then click search. And this will bring up not only the Department of Ohio, but all of its associated chapters. You can also access your site directly by typing in the site address on the address bar of the browser. Um, you know, the manual contains the naming schemes for the department and chapter site. So uh, once you become familiar with the naming schemes, you'll never not be able to locate your site. <clears throat> uh, so logging in as a webmaster, um, you know, it, again, you've got the, uh, uh, all the different uh, uh, ways that you get in here, but the easiest way to log in is to navigate to DAV.org, um, click on that find a location tab there toward the top of the main site. Uh, that'll take you to the find DAV offices and DAV chapters here. Once you click on that uh, lo local chapter tab, and if you notice there is the uh, click here hyperlink uh, that's available to you there, and that'll take you to the main uh, site um, you know, once you sign in with your username and password, you'll be able to make updates to your site. The sign in uh, button is located at the top right of the page where uh, on the bottom image there, you'll see my name 
uh, is located. That's usually where the, uh, that's always where the sign-in uh, option is located. So, um, <clears throat> so you got a, a multitude of options, and I, again, just for the the sake of brevity, I'm not going to go into all these options because it really turned into a, a technical um, briefing that would take hours. Um, so, just to get you oriented here, though, once you sign in, and you'll notice uh, this is the Department of Alabama's uh, presentation. Um, you know, and again, remember, there may be some options that aren't available to my chapter webmasters out there, but your top page options uh, encapsulated by the red along the top of the image there. So you've got your DEV members home. This is uh, this page is the, the main home for for the page DEV websites .dev .org. Uh You've got a members member leaders button there that takes you to the member leaders page on DEV.org. And again, we're, we're trying to think what's the best way. Uh, to get our folks around to what they need. And we're really kind of envisioning these as a hub for chapters and departments to conduct their business uh, and to get you to the main site when, whenever you need to. Uh, so uh, DAV announcements, this page uh, is going to display any news from uh, National and Washington, D.C. headquarters. Uh, the officers page is the page that lists uh, the officers and their titles for the department of their chapter. Uh, remember, this information can't be modified by the webmasters. It's pulled directly from DEV's uh, CRM system. Uh, this page will display the officers and their pictures when you upload them from the officer section under the webmaster links. Uh, so that's a cool new uh, capability is that not only can, uh, you know, we populate from national the sites uh, with the officer information via the OER, um, the officer election report, but the chapters and departments can then go in and populate pictures of the uh, officers in their respective positions to uh, more personalize the page and, and let uh, our members and prospective members know uh, who are in these leadership positions. So it really uh, makes it uh, more inviting uh, when we can personalize stuff like this. So <clears throat> uh, the services button uh, displays service office location information, as well as links to the hospital service coordinator directory and mobile service calendar. Uh, and the, there's lastly a DAV auxiliary button that will take you to the auxiliary page for your department of chapter. Remember, this button will only exist if there is an auxiliary unit associated with the chapter. So uh, some additional webmaster options here. Um, on the left-hand side, you've got the Our Events uh, uh, button, uh, option, pardon me. Uh, this page displays a calendar view of any events that you've posted on your site. Um, so people you know, are just one click away from figuring out everything that's going on at the chapter or department level. Uh, you've got your department photo gallery. Uh, this is where you can post any pictures that you might want to display on your site. So if you have a fishing derby or a dance or some other kind of fundraiser, uh, take pictures, show the folks uh, what you're what you're doing and post them here. Uh, we give you an awful lot of memory. So uh, by by all means, uh, utilize this capability. Uh, a unique feature. Again, I didn't want to get too deep in the weeds with the presentation, but and all these pictures, documents, all that good stuff, you'll be able to actually set an expiration date where the system will automatically delete uh, that information. So, um, you know, you can put an expiration date on it. And, you know, once an event passes uh, that you've put up an announcement for uh, and you want something else to be uh, prioritized or surfaced, uh, using that expiration capability uh, works wonders for that. So, uh the links uh, option uh, is a page uh, for any links of interest you may want to share or links to, uh, uh, you know, different chapters, websites or, or department websites, if you got those. Um, the officers option uh, is a page where you upload the pictures that I mentioned earlier, displaying the officers page under meet the team, under the meet the team section. Um, the non-public is a page where you can keep documents that you want to keep hidden from public view. So you can actually, um, you know, 
prepare a document for a future event that's coming up. Uh, you're not quite ready to publish it to the public yet, but you can upload it to the system and have it sitting there ready to go as soon as you're ready to publish it. So a uh, nice little benefit there. And then of course, uh, the announcement section is the page where you'll push out announcements to your, uh, you know, to the department or to uh, chapters. Um, again, this is only available at the department level here. Um, so kind of coming to the end of the orientation here, but um, the thing I want to impress upon you most, again, you're, you're not gonna, you're not gonna break the site. There's nothing that you can do that our team here can't go back in and reset. Uh, so once you access your site, please poke around a bit, you know, get comfortable with the technology. You know, again, I promise you, you're not going to break anything beyond repair. You're certainly, um, <clears throat> you know, you're, you're certainly uh, invited to explore. Uh, and like I said, once you get comfortable with the technology, we're always looking for uh, suggestions and how we can improve um, the experience, not only for uh, our visitors to these sites, but also to the, to the webmasters. Um, and we want to make everything as easily accessible as possible uh, to all parties. So uh, really appreciate uh, our webmasters efforts and the officers that provide input as to what these uh, what these sites should contain uh, at every level. Uh, that is invaluable. Again, not every area is the same. Uh, one thing may be more important to a particular region than uh, another region. And, and that's the uh, that. You know, that's why we want to have the agility and flexibility to uh, customize these sites, uh, you know, to our particular, um, to our particular uh, audiences. So, um, again, don't, don't be afraid. You're not going to break these sites. Uh, RIT staff and the membership folks here uh, will do a great job taking care of you. So, I know this, you know, I know this is a uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, website presentation, but I'm going to take a moment of personal privilege here uh, because we've got a brand new initiative related to membership, um, you know, call our DAV recruiter rally. So uh, you're probably going to, you know, see me talking about this, see it on social media. Uh, we are just kind of flooding the airwaves with this and this presentation is no exception, but uh, I wanted to mention to everybody, uh, the goal here is to get you know, we know we've got our, our great recruiters out there at the grassroots level that do a great job of recruiting 25, 50, 100, 150 members a year. Uh, those folks are great. We want to continue, uh, you know, having them provide that great service to the organization. But we want to encourage our casual um, member, the, the member that typically only sees us via a website or um you know, on our social media or in the magazine, something like that. We want to encourage our um, casual members to be recruiters. Um, so we've come up with the DAV recruiter rally. Uh, all it requires is for a member to recruit at least one new paid member. Uh, and what this does, it puts them in a drawing for a um, trip to our uh, 2025 National Convention in Las Vegas. So, uh, you know, it, it's essentially, uh, it is airfare, uh, lodging, per diem for meals, as well as $2,500 in pocket cash. So not too shabby. Um, and the, the great thing about this is not only are DAV recruiters eligible, but auxiliary members, who recruit a DAV member uh, are also eligible for this. So any approved uh, DAV application can be used, whether it's paper or digital. Um, you just need to make sure that our sponsorship information is on the application to qualify. So you gotta make sure your membership number uh, is on the sponsor information section of the application. The easiest way to make this happen is to make sure you have your recruiter warrior link or QR code, uh, because attribution uh, credit for that recruitment, uh, once somebody becomes a paid member, is always automatic. So please be sure to get your Recruiter Warrior link, uh, so that way you don't have to worry about uh, ensuring if you've got the correct sponsorship information on a, 
on an application. If you're not comfortable with technology though, again, uh, we're not restricting this to online applications, paper applications uh, also uh, qualify. So um, more information can be found there at the, at the link I provided uh, at that bottom bullet. And I hope uh, not only that all of you participate uh, between uh, this ran started on May 1st through June 30, 2025, um, you know, but encourage fellow members uh, wherever you can to also recruit somebody. Um, you know, and the other great thing about this too is that if you're already a recruiter for us and you're already bringing folks into the organization, whether it's during a recruited warrior challenge or March membership madness or any of the other fun uh, things that we do, uh, you're still going to get your DAV points. You're still going to get your credits for all those other things uh, during those special times uh, that we recruit and all year long. Uh, you'll get everything that we've already talked about in addition to having an entry into the uh, recruiter rally. So only one entry per, per uh, recruiter, but uh, not too shabby for a trip to, to Vegas. Uh, it'll be a good time. It's a trip for two, by the way, a trip for two. So uh, any questions on that, don't hesitate to reach out. So pardon me for that, that moment of personal privilege there. Um, we are pretty much right on schedule. I always like to save time for questions, uh, even though I kind of talked about the uh, recruiter rally just because it's such an important and new initiative. If we could uh, ensure we keep questions to the website. Again, I am always available for you for any other related questions. Uh, but for right now, let's keep uh, our questions limited to the website. And I'll turn it back over to uh, wonderful Elizabeth to moderate the questions. Thank you, Doug. Lots of great stuff there. Um, again, if you have questions about the new department chapter websites, you can put them in the Q&A box, which you'll find on the bottom bar of your uh, webinar screen in Zoom. Um, Doug, I'll, I'll kick us off, and it's not a question about Recruiter Rally, but I'm going to use it as an example, because that seems like something that would be great for National to post in the announcements across those department and chapter pages, or maybe it's something that the department or chapter um, can put under their announcements. Is that is that the case? Is that kind of a, a good example of a, a way to use the websites? Yep, exactly, and, and they will see the Recruiter Warrior, or pardon me, I got the uh, Recruiter Rally announcement coming their way shortly from national. So that will populate all uh, of our websites for sure. That is a great example. Um, and then in terms of troubleshooting, so you pointed out the help and support pages and, and you want folks to really go there first and familiarize the, themselves with the website. But if they do need to reach out, any advice on what kind of information they need to provide? Well, of course, we want to know uh, what the problem is that they're experiencing. Um, I certainly don't need our webmasters uh, to, you know, uh, uh, waste time on on a 10 page diatribe or something like that. Mm -hmm. But just a quick, you know, uh, two or three sentence uh, explanation of what the main problem they ha they're having is and make sure we have current contact information wherever they'd like us to reach out. Um, if we can answer the email or have the ability to go in and go, oh, okay, that's we we need to flip a switch here and and let them know it's fixed, uh, you know, and uh, move forward. That's that's perfect. Uh, but if it's something where we need to get on the phone with them and maybe share a screen, we're happy to do that too. But just make sure that we have uh, you know current information beyond the email you're sending, uh, email address that you're sending from, um, you know, so we can readily reach you. Um, you know, you also talked there at the end about, um, you know, getting creative and and, and really exploring um, the new sites. Are there any areas in particular, and you may have already mentioned them, where uh, you think people can get really creative or really customize that website for their department or chapter? Yeah, so there's um, there's a section called site links where you can really kind of customize, um, you know, what you're doing with respect to your individual website. Um, again, I, not to get too far in the weeds here, but um, we we really did our best to um, to make sure that all the data from the member portals wasn't lost and was transferred in to uh, the new websites. So uh, if there was a one to one place uh, for that data from the, the old member portals to go to in the new sites, that's what happened. 
Um, if there was a unique site under the old member portals that was created by a chapter webmaster, something that was unique to them, then there's a data storage area that, again, by referencing the user manual, uh, that's where that information now lives. So uh, fear not if, uh, if you look at your new sites and it's not exactly, um, you know, uh, what it looked like uh, on the membership portal, that information is not lost. It's just in that data storage area. Uh, you'll have to, to uh, reconfigure the site to whatever it was that um, you had or, or uh, your local folks were uh, accustomed to, and then just re-upload that data. So the data didn't disappear. It's still there. Um, if you have any issues with that, don't hesitate again to reach out. Um, I, so I was um, kind of poking around on, on some of the, the chapter websites and um, I noticed one on the, I think it was like the, the officers page and it had a list of all the officers and then it had a meet the team section. I believe that's where you would put photos, but right. they didn't have any photos there. Um, so there's just kind of this blank white space. So if there's a part of the site um, that a department or chapter isn't utilizing, Mm -hmm. Is it recommended and is it possible for them to, you know, kind of change the layout of that, of that page so you don't just have empty space, for example? Yeah, so in, in some cases, the answer is yes, again, through those web parts. Um, and in some cases, no. And I'm sorry, Elizabeth, to answer that previous question, I had accidentally muted myself um, with respect to the appointment of the webmaster. I'm going to have that changed. Okay. Uh, they, they don't have to be a uh, uh, chapter or pardon me a, a DAV member in order to do that so uh, I will have that change made to the manual I'm, I'm sorry I didn't catch that in the review 99.9% .9 of the things that you do in DAV you need to be a member but being a chapter webmaster is is not one of them. great thank you for uh, clarifying that and it sounds like you were saying places where um, there are some places on the website that can be the layout can be customized if there is missing information is that yeah. what you're saying okay yes yeah so you know specifically with that this the white sections there i'll have to go back and look at it that's a great question that's not something uh that i've yet to explore again uh, you know we're uh, these are brand new i know we've made uh four or five updates since going live already um uh, so I will uh, I will explore that, and if we need to update the user manual thusly, we will. Okay. All right, everyone. Um, last call for for questions. If you have them, put them in the Q and A box, um, which you'll find there at the bottom of your your screen. Um, Doug, you, you touched on this, but if you could reiterate and maybe expand on um, how these new websites can help in in recruiting efforts, why why are these important uh, for recruiting? Well, uh, first of all, it, it, it creates consistency in our uh, ability to disseminate information. So sometimes, uh, you know, uh, all of these memos and things that we'll be posting on the website uh, to include memos related to membership and recruitment specifically, uh, you know, we do email to our uh, to our chapter department leaders, um, you know, for whatever reason, whether it's um, you know, the, the length of meetings or, um, you know, the importance of focusing on one or two particular issues during meetings. Sometimes the information that we disseminate out to our 1,250 plus chapters and 52 state level departments, uh, you know, all 50 states, uh, Puerto Rico and D.C., uh, it, it, it bottlenecks there. It doesn't get disseminated as broadly as we would like it to. So, um you know, the things that are for public domain and public consumption, uh, you know, we're also going to publish to the website. So hopefully that mitigates the amount of bottlenecking that occurs. That doesn't mean uh, our elected and appointed officers don't have a responsibility to um, to distribute this stuff as widely as possible. Uh, in fact, you know, just the opposite. We want them, uh, you know, and encourage them to, to get the information out. Uh, from the hilltops, but certainly we understand that sometimes things happen and, um, you know, one particular group is not uh, as fully informed as another. Uh, hopefully the websites will help mitigate that. Um, but also with respect to recruitment specifically, um, you'll recall uh, when I talked about the, the homepage, a lot of those things 
Uh, a lot of those buttons are linked directly back to DAV.org, whether it's the member leader section or the, you know, specifically or the broader member resources section of DAV.org, which uh, remember, we don't need membership numbers to access anymore. Anything that needs validation has its own validation on the website now. Uh, so we want this information uh, spread as broadly as possible, but linking back to the member resources section or specifically the, the new DAV recruiter resource tool, uh, all that stuff is important and uh, easily accessible from the new sites. So that can hopefully, <coughs> pardon me, that can hopefully enhance our capabilities as not only individual recruiters, but as we come together to go about our mission of meeting our membership goals. Uh, remember, we're, you know, we're less than two months before the end of the membership year, which is June 30. Uh, we've got to average about 100 members a day in order to make our, make our goal. We need about 5,200 members as we set right now in order to make, meet our goal. And if we don't meet our goal, that is going to, um, you know, we fall below a million members. That's going to diminish the, the, the weight of our message with our elected officials. So we need to be able to look over and sh our shoulder and say, hey, a million plus members uh, of DEV want X, Y, Z. Uh, you know, that number, one million, brings gravitas to our message. So we certainly need to, 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 uh, to redouble our, our membership recruitment efforts, uh, make sure that we stay over a million members. And, uh, you know, we're here to afford you any of the tools that you need to be successful with that. Um, we have someone asking where the user manual is located. I think they're talking about the help and support tab. Yep. It's, it, it's, uh, if you go to the help and support tab, uh, it's on the right hand side. There's a hyperlink that says, uh, uh, user manual. Great. And then in terms of, of navigating to the new department and chapter websites, um, I know you can go, you know, start at DAV.org and navigate from there, but there's also that direct link, correct? The DAV websites.dav.org. Right. Um, yeah, devwebsites.dev.org. So, um, you know, there's a naming scheme that I mentioned, and this is in the, the user manual, but let's say um, you're someone that wants to navigate directly to uh, Chapter 2 in Ohio. Um, so you would go to devwebsites.dev.org slash OH for Ohio slash 02 for Chapter 2. Um, you know, that if you're someone that's more comfortable with entering addresses into, uh, you know, URLs into an address bar by all means. But uh, there's a specific naming scheme, as I mentioned earlier, uh, to get you directly to those sites uh, in the most expeditious way possible. And wh whichever way you prefer navigating, uh, probably a good idea to go ahead and bookmark, you know, whichever pages uh, you'll visit frequently and uh, get to it even even quicker. Um, I'll by the bookmark. Yep. <laughs> Doug, any final thoughts? No, again, I just appreciate everybody taking their their time out of their evening. I know uh, these days time is one of our most precious commodities. Um, I would just, again, encourage everybody, reach out. Let me know if you need the slide deck. There's no reason to, uh, for you to reinvent the wheel here. Uh, not only do we have the slide deck available to you, but within the slide deck, I've got uh, multiple notes um, that I use to make the presentation. I will share those with you uh, as part of the slide deck so that you can uh, – uh, replicate what I did here, uh, you know, maybe you need to truncate the presentation or, uh, you know, who knows, maybe you want to expand upon it, uh, but there's no reason to reinvent the wheel. So please reach out and I encourage you to share this with as many folks as possible or, um, you know, once we provide the link uh, tomorrow or so, um, you know, go ahead and, and share it far and wide so people can take the time to watch the presentation. On our own. Absolutely. Doug, thank you so much for another great presentation. Thank you to everyone who attended and asked questions. Your interest and commitment helped DAV continue to grow and be the resounding voice for America's disabled veteran. Again, you'll be able to find a recording of this and past webinars at DAV.org under member resources and on DAV's YouTube page. If you have any follow-up questions, you can reach Doug via email at dwells at DAV.org or at 859 Four four two two zero six zero. Thank you all and enjoy the rest of your day.